tragedy once again struck the FDNY. This time it was in Iraq. A military helicopter crashed. Two members of the FDNY were killed in that crash. Joining us right now is Frank Siller of the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. You know, enough that the fire department has to deal with danger when they're here and working, but now these guys went overseas and they met their fate over there. How tragic is this whole story and how's everybody over there handling this? Well, uh, it is incredible. These guys were serving their community. It was enough for them, right? They had to go join the U.S. National Air Guard and, and uh, was over in Iraq, and they lost their lives, one of which is uh, Lieutenant uh, Chris Raguso, who left behind a wife and two children, and we're going to raise funds to pay off uh, their mortgage. Um, so it's incredible. We call them superheroes, these guys, because they just don't protect their communities. They protect their country. Tell us more about your group and what you're doing. And, and, and of course, now we've seen what you're doing for this family. But just give us more information on that. Well, my brother was a New York City firefighter who died on 9-11. He actually ran through the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel with his gear on his back to get there that day. So we started a foundation. We're doing many things. But we build houses all over the country for our nation's service members, the most catastrophically injured service members. So when you get somebody who's a firefighter, a first responder, and the military, uh, we most certainly have to make sure that we step up to the plate and do something for them. You know, George, 7,000 military personnel have died since September 11, 2001. 7,000. So many of these families are ripped apart. We can't forget. And we have to make a contract with these guys. If they go overseas, something happens to them, we take care of their family. It's not a position you want to be in, but how good does it make you and the organization feel that you can't step up when tragedy strikes? Well, we're very proud of the work that we're do, doing. It's so important. Uh, you know, when somebody goes to tunneltotowers.org, goes to our foundation, they see that we're 93 cents of every dollar goes to, uh, to our programs. We're very proud of the way that we operate. We have thousands and thousands of volunteers all over the United States. It is uplifting. It's a great way to honor my brother, right? He sacrificed his life um, for, for, his, uh, for his community, but most certainly for his country. So. It's very invigorating to do this kind of work. So for more information, I guess our audience should check out tunneltotowers.org, the sign right behind you. Frank Siller, thanks for all you're doing, and lots of luck in the future. Thank you so much, George. God bless you.